YouTube now. All right, so this is something really cool I want to show you guys. Um, we're actually going to use some low pressure to boil some water today. We can actually make water boil without using any heat whatsoever. It's a really cool thing, uh, but we have to drop the pressure down pretty low. So I've got uh, a vacuum pump over here and a bell jar, and we're going to make some amazing things happen today. So let's check it out. Alright, so let's get this going here. I've got a beaker of water and my vacuum chamber, plus I've got a vacuum pump here and we're going to get this set up and we're going to pull a vacuum on that water and we should be able to make a boil without any heat. It's going to be a really cool thing. Let me show you. Okay, so I'm going to uh, let the pressure back into the bell jar now. Um, yeah, it might cloud up just a little bit, let's see. Well, we definitely got some good condensation on the beaker. Let me see if I can open this, there we go. All right, and uh, we'll just set this down here. And uh, now one thing that's really interesting about this, it actually makes the water colder. So let's do this whole process again, only this time we're gonna measure the temperature change of the water. All right, so uh, well, that should be, should be plenty. Uh, let's see here. So uh, let's take the uh, water. And uh, I'm gonna put it over here, right there for a minute. And we need a thermometer, so let's go back over here. Okay, so let's measure this uh, and find out what our temperature is. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna give it just a second to equilibrate here, and uh, then we'll find out how cold it is, or how warm it is, one of the two. Okay, so it appears our water is uh, 24 degrees Celsius. Yeah, so we're right at 24 degrees Celsius. Uh, that's the temperature of our water to begin with. So now let's uh, load this up here again. And, uh, you know, I think I can even leave the thermometer in there. But let's try it. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Uh, if I put this on. Actually, let's verify that temperature real quick just to make sure that everything is good here. Uh, let me zoom in. And see if I can focus that. Boom. Because, yeah, we're still about 24 degrees here. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's see what uh, let's see what happens when we pull the vacuum on this, and uh, see if we can get that temperature change uh, and measure it here.
Okay, so we'll just let that boil for a minute, and uh, while it's boiling, uh, we're actually going to be pulling that water vapor out of there, um, and thusly, because we're removing molecules, we're removing energy from that whole system there. So what that means basically is the temperature is dropping uh, as we speak right now, as it's boiling. It's boiling. Uh, we use that term kind of loosely though because boiling, well, typically we think of boiling for hot things and uh, this is actually getting colder as it boils. Very cool. So. We'll observe the uh, temperature change here in just a minute after we've cooled it down by boiling it under low pressure for just a minute here. Okay, so now I'm going to shut the pump off and I've closed the valve over here on the other side just to maintain that low pressure inside of our vacuum chamber for right now because I want to see the temperature change. Let's measure that temperature. There we go. All right, so as you can see uh, already, we are down below 20 degrees. We're down to 18 degrees Celsius, of course. 18 degrees. We were at 24, so we've already lowered it by 6 degrees Celsius. So that's quite a bit especially for only pulling a vacuum on it uh, for just a few minutes here. It's only been about uh, four or five minutes and uh, we've lowered the temperature that much already. So uh, let's go ahead and open it up and uh, we'll double check that temperature real quick. All right, here we go. I'm gonna let the pressure back in now. And you can see it quickly condensated and that's just from the pressure change. So we've got a lot of vaporized water molecules in there. And then by, uh, by increasing that pressure, we're causing them to condense and uh, turn back into liquid. So uh, let me go ahead and open the bell jar. I'll try and do this very carefully. There we go. And then quickly, I'm going to spin around here and I want to show you uh, where we are at for the temperature on here. So let me realign my thermometer a little better and give you a good shot of that. Here we go, let's get right on in there and see our thermometer. There we go, oh, almost had it. There she goes. All right now I think I should be able to zoom in. Yeah, and you can see it's clearly below 20. We're still down at 18 degrees. So we were able to drop the temperature by about six degrees doing this, that's really cool. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed. That's how we boil water without using any heat whatsoever. Uh, we're just decreasing the pressure which causes the water to vaporize. It helps to pull those water molecules out of there. Uh, turning them into a vapor and removing that uh, those water molecules. That also helps remove a lot of energy from the system and that's why we were able to see the temperature drop, which I think is a really cool thing. Um, most of the time you don't get to see water boil without using heat. Um, and then when you do get to see water boil without the heat and realize that the temperature drops, uh, it's just a real staggering thing. It's something that you wouldn't expect to happen, but uh, it's a, it's a thing. It's really a thing. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure if you did, please uh, like up this video. Uh, if it's your first time here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think or if you have any great ideas for a future video. Uh, I'd love to hear those from you as well. Aside from that, I'll catch you guys next time.